Um, and uh, again, apologize to those of you who've heard this true story. Went to a coffee house in Round Rock, not to mention the name. And uh, wearing a shirt that said, "I support the right to arm bears." Oh, wow. <laughs> um, someone didn't approve of my shirt and let me know it uh, in, a, in no uncertain terms. Uh, completely big, huge guy completely freaked me out. I left the house, coffee house crying and shaking and freaked out. So I told a colleague of mine about it the next day at work, a psychology professor, and he said, why don't you write about it? I was too upset to write about it, but I did go home and write about it, and uh, that really helped. <laughs> uh, on Tuesday night, when I went out, I met a guy at a coffee house. He was kind of cute and kind of weird, so I didn't mind when he stood near. I thought that he was trying to flirt. He asked about my silly shirt. I support the right to arm all bears. It's what is said for one who cares. <laughs> he was not and came on strong, but I was slow to see what's wrong. Your shirt, he said. What's that about? I tried to choke my way right out. We must have guns that arm a bear. I said, I think it's only bear. I thought he was an Austin guy. The peace and love and harm no fly. But when he said that guns are great, I saw that this was not a date. He asked me to support my case, but I had no words. I can't debate. I tried to change the subject twice, but he refused to be so nice. And just like peace, I tried to say, but he quickly pushed my words away. You liberal frauds are such a pain, you can't defend, you can't explain, you wear your shirts without a clue, so I can walk all over you. I think you need to check your facts and grow the brain, you clearly lack a smoke like you, just take a face that insult you the human race. <laughs> Jewish, I said, a Jew, cause I'm a Jew, it sounds so bad, it makes some people really mad. You're Jewish, he said, correcting me, trying to show some dignity, but he does not try to save my soul. He only wants no gun control. <laughs> Again, guns for my children and guns for all men. And if you try to push your cause, my gun will trump your stupid laws. A gun in my shirt, a gun in my pants. These things never stood a chance. I'll wait right here until you see. Ain't nothing gonna stop my gun and me. I'm a coffee house bully if you can't see. So stay away from my gun and me. I'm a coffee house bully, you best agree. It's all about my gun. And me. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was loud. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. That was fantastic. <laughs> and uh, one more. Um, there's been a lot of the news lately about the gap between the rich and the poor, widening, widening, widening. Rich are getting richer, poor are getting poorer. And um, last year, for example, the top 10% got 50% of all earnings in the U.S., and the rest of us, 90%, share the other half. <laughs> and, you know, for all the people, these people who are rich people, you got to feel sorry for them. Oh, yeah. So I thought I would write a, a song from their point of view. Poor thing. <laughs> the poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> I am too rich to cut my grass. If you say labor, I say pass. I am too rich to mow the lawn. The poor people can beg and fawn. I pay them bucks so they can eat. They do my work so I can sleep. And if they ask for better pay, I send them on their merry way. I'm too rich to clean my home. I got a maid to get it done. I would never mop the floor. That's a job the poor adore. You won't catch me down on my knees when hiring them is such a breeze. That's what God made poor folk for, to carry my bags and open my door. 